Hi folks, welcome back. So today I want to take a look at a paper that keeps alive in me a healthy dose of paranoia about my job as a software engineer getting automated away. The last few years have seen a lot of progress in machine learning being applied to programming, the actual act of writing code. The paper I want to look at today proposes a technique for automatically generating patches or bug fixes to existing code using a machine learning model. This work was done by researchers at MIT. When I try to understand a machine learning system, I try to do it in two parts. The first part is to understand how we build the model. This is the offline part. So we have some training data and we extract some features from this training data. And that is what we use to train a model. The next part is actually using this model. This is where we have data on which we want to perform some sort of a prediction, our test data. This is what we want to classify or recognize and so on. In this case, our test data are patches that are generated by searching a space of potentially valid patches. These patches then go through the same feature extraction and we look up the model with these features to get back some sort of a judgment. In this case, it is some sort of a probability which tells us how likely this patch is to be correct. So now let's come back to the paper and see what exactly they are proposing. There are three large differences between prior work in this area and the system which they call profit in this paper. The first one is that they are learning a model of correct code. They are building a probabilistic machine learned model of what correct code looks like by training it on existing patches. Many of the systems prior to this were able to generate patches but they did so based on templates and heuristics and were not guided by a machine learned model. It also works with large real world applications and most importantly this system tries to be universal. What we mean by universality is that profit can learn a correctness model from one set of patches. It can extract some universal features that characterize correct patches and then use that learned model to come up with patches for a completely unrelated code base. The hypothesis here is that Correct patches share some universal features regardless of the code base. Before we get into the details of how exactly this works, let's look at some of their results. The authors ran profit on 69 real world defects from eight very large open source applications and profit was able to generate correct patches for 19 of those 69 defects which is much, much more than other existing automatic patch generation systems. So that's a pretty impressive result. It seems to be a big leap in efficacy over the existing systems. Let's see how they go about achieving that. Now, I'm going to go through the example in the paper which demonstrates at a high level how the entire algorithm and training and prediction works, but I encourage you to read the full paper for all the details. A look at an example defect in PHP where the implementation does not properly check for the type of an argument. And this can result in runtime errors and even a denial of service attack on the PHP server. Let's start by looking at how they train their model. The training set is from a few large open source repositories. 
Notably, PHP itself is not part of the training set. What Profit does is, for each patch in the training set, it looks at the abstract syntax tree of that patch and then builds an abstract model of what exactly that patch modified in the source code as well as the effects that the patch had on the surrounding source code. So it is using in some sense an abstract execution model to see the effect of a patch on surrounding code. Once it has extracted these features, Profit then tries to build a machine learning probabilistic model of those features. The parameters of this model can essentially be thought of as weights given to the features of correct patches. So for example, a feature might be adding an if statement that checks the value of an argument to your procedure. Another feature might be simply inserting a return statement and so on. So we try to assign weights to these features such that we maximize the likelihood of the patch being correct. Alright, so that was the offline training phase which gives us our model. Now let's look at how we actually generate and validate and test a new patch. We are assuming that the code base in question has an existing set of tests which can tell us if our patch breaks existing functionality and also has a test which exposes the problem or the bug that we want our patch to fix. The first step in generating a patch is to isolate the part of the code that needs it. And the way Profit does this is by executing the test suite and trying to find those lines that are least executed by the positive test cases but most executed by the failing test case, the test case that is supposed to expose the bug. Those are the lines that will need a patch to fix. Once we have identified the place in the code that needs fixing, Profit then tries to generate patches. The way Profit generates patches at a very high level is by using transformation schemas. For example, one schema might be to add an if statement to guard some existing logic. The details of how exactly those schema patches are generated are covered in another paper. Once it has generated a number of candidate patches, Profit then tries to rank those candidate patches according to the model that it had built earlier. This is where it departs from a lot of existing patch generation systems. Just like we did during training, Profit extracts the features for each candidate rank and then runs those features through the model that it had learned to arrive at a probability for this patch being correct. In this particular PHP bug, it ranks very highly a patch that adds an if statement just before calling another method. And that patch also happened to perform another highly ranked feature, which is to check an incoming argument. And once it has ranked all these patches, the final step is to validate them once again by running the test suite. If our patch is correct, then it should not break any of the existing tests and it should pass the test which we had written to expose this bug. So that was a quick look at Profit, which is a machine learning system that learns from existing patches and builds a probabilistic universal model of what correct patches look like. This model can then be used to generate correct patches for bugs in new code bases. I hope you enjoyed that and I will see you next time. Thank you very much.